Have you ever had a conversation with someone whose job is to make you laugh? <laughs> well, your guess is as good as mine. Today we'll be having one of the finest comedians from this part of the world and he'll be thrilling us right here and telling us and sharing his experiences with us and how he made his way to the top. He started his comedy career in 2008 after he was introduced to comedian T.A. This led to several meetings with Ali Baba and Oprah Williams who later gave him a slot at the Night of a Thousand Laugh show. He has performed alongside notable comedians such as T.A., Bovi, Basket Mouth and I Go Die. He has won several awards such as the Youth Comedy of the Year Awards and Stand-Up Comedian of the Year Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, join me in making welcome Bucci right here on the show. Oh, boss. Sorry, man. <laughs> Such a pleasure to have you on this show. Yeah, so yeah. good. Good, good. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen you over the years rise in your career and not right now you're at the top. <laughs> so so how has it been? What's your story like? <laughs> um well for me first up I like to give God the praise because uh, like I say every day it's not about um being uh the funniest or about being anything, it's about the grace of God yes, that's been upon my yes, lap because my story so far is not that long. I moved to Lagos um, I've been, of course, I've been doing comedy a long time okay. outside Lagos. Okay. But you know that Lagos is like uh, the heartbeat of entertainment. It's, it's the hub. You, know, you gotta come then, here, man. Yeah, you, when you conquer here, yeah, basically, you, you, you're, you're on top. Uh, you're on top of the world. <laughs> so, and I, I, I moved to Lagos okay. uh, a few years ago. Okay. And, I've, and it, I think my first challenge was gaining acceptance even here in Lagos amongst comedians, okay. even before like industries. Okay, so. what, was there like a, a, a situation where they didn't really accept your kind of comedy or something like that? No, it wasn't about my kind of comedy. It was Then it was just like uh, this wor this worry boy again, another boy from Worry. And, uh, <laughs> and basically then they were like, they had already they have enough comedians on ground. Why, okay. Okay. why won't come join them? <laughs> you join the crowd with you. <laughs> so they appreciated the fact that I was funny, All but right. the, 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 that carry me along thing wasn't there. Okay, you know? okay. But what I would like to know, how, how was it the struggle like like every artist that has made it to the top these days always have a story to share like how was what was your story like basically when it comes to you know you trying to come up and you know for people to notice you and even laugh to your jokes did you have any little any kind of struggle that you had you know in your in your coming up days yeah um you know it's, it's really been a long journey for me because mm. like i was telling like, when, when did you start um, um, doing I, comedy Professionally, I started comedy started making money for me. Okay. Well, um, 98, 99, just 98. about before mm -hmm. I got into school. Okay. But I've been doing comedy just for the fun of it okay. since um, 95. Okay. And then, you know, 96 stand up. Okay. And then from secondary school, I've been doing like mock news. So you all wow. started from mock news. Okay. We, we started with mock news for mm -hmm. me, and then mm -hmm. I went to stand up immediately. I left secondary school. Okay. And then by the time I was about to go into university, People started giving me money. I'm like, oh, so <laughs> you can actually be paid for comedy. Right. <laughs> nice. By the time I was in school, yeah, I was, I've I've done comedy in every state in this country. Wow. Yeah, I told I was telling my friend I go say that I said that I said that I said <laughs> every state. But the funny thing is, I was basically before I became like the a brand. G, yeah, the brand. The brand. It was yeah. basically just me mm. uh, doing, you know, aside from Chogo Mission. Okay. Like, you know, Chogo mm. Mission has reached outreach all over Nigeria all over, and outside. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. it was, you know, from youth convention, from Agape to youth mm. convention, you mm. know, so, you know, all the, the brands like we're doing conventions. So I okay. used to travel a lot. Okay. okay. You know, but then I was on costume. So when I came to Lagos, it was starting all over again. Yeah, that, that costume thing. I, yeah. I know there was a time, I think, um, during the Worship and Clouds. Yeah, Worship and Clouds. They used to wear every, wig and yeah. used to do comedy with wigs and, and everything. my face, <laughs> wet tie, uh, babu work. Kind of We've done so much things in this industry. <laughs> We've come a long way. But okay, so what, what made you to so, shift from that kind of costume, kind of comedy, to now become the real Bucci that we know today? Because Bucci is a big brand, man. Eh? Yeah, but, but I think the first thing was when I came to Lagos, mm. um, the people I, 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 I was with then, because... Okay. Uh, I mean, basically, when I was in Lagos, everybody that saw me, people ahead of me, okay. like big names in the mm. industry, be like, man, you're good. We work together, we work together. I used mm. to get a lot. And then uh, I think I saw Basset Mount one time and okay. at the Night of a Thousand Laughs. Okay. And it was like, uh, yo, dude, you're good. But you need, first of all, you. this is Lagos. Mm -hmm. This For them, you have to call, just use Bucci. Everybody calls you Bucci. Why are you answering Onye Bucci? Because Onye Bucci <laughs> you're making long. From, yeah, yeah, with the costume. <laughs> okay, okay. That's why I was known by Chogon Mission, okay. Redeem all the churches okay. around Nigeria. So, mm. And then I was on costume and like, you're not like Baja, you need to let go. <laughs> you need to let go. Of all the lagbaja costume. Yeah, just be yourself. <laughs> 
And then, you know, Bucci, mm -hmm. the reggae artist was there. I'm like, but there's a Bucci already. He's a gospel artist and he's, he's, he's gospel. Yeah. Only, his gospel is even reggae, mm -hmm. which is another genre. Another genre. It makes it, already, differentiates so it. That is, it won't mm. be a challenge okay. at all. And that with time, mm. if the Google, it will meet that will pop up first. I okay. shouldn't worry. I, just, I should just keep working hard. <laughs> That's some advice. Yeah, it was, yeah, it, like, it was someone that just <laughs> saw a lot in me from day one, okay. you know. And it, it's true because it took a lot of time. If you go... If you go online, you see Bucci Mechete, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bucci Reggae Artist, before you see Bucci Comedian. Bucci Comedian, yeah. On like now that mm -hmm. I even have clips, people mm -hmm. who help me up upload clips. Okay. You know, so it's it's come a long way, but because of those challenges, because mm -hmm. of what I wanted to do with okay. my career at that time, mm -hmm. I, I was done with school. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a question of okay, make I finish school, what I won't continue. It was this was you my, made up your mind. You wanted yeah. To do. But, but, by, by the way, I even I learned. Um, I, I was googling the internet last night, and I discovered that you actually studied law. Yeah. From and I was like, what, what made you move from that professional aspect? <laughs> okay. Before you start started studying the law, did you have it in mind that you're going to do comedy or no, you had I to mean, switch? No, I'm like you know. I always wanted to be to practice law. Okay. I always wanted to practice okay. law. You know, basically I wasn't really good in math, so I was like, what's the shortcut law is another big thing. Yeah. That I have to calculate that one. Mm -hmm. So it was mm -hmm. easy, it was quite easy for it was me. Straightforward. To and, you know, and I was very good in English and literature okay. way back in secondary school. You can feel the can feel the English right, right now. I'm feeling it. No, no, now now I talk like this because I've traveled a lot, so yeah. I, I, I like to pick accent okay. where I go. Okay. You know. <laughs> but you never picked any Yoruba or Igbo accent. <laughs> no, I don't pick any accent from Nigeria. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm a racist when you come to ask. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Okay, okay, so Bucci, uh, more to um, um, more deep things right now. What are your inspirations? Like, what, what do you see that gives you the drive to go on? How do you actually, like, when you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you think about? What is that thing you want to achieve? What's your inspiration like? Uh, basically, for me, it's family. Okay. You know, it's family. I, I'm, I'm not from a very uh, buoyant or, um, or flamboyant background. Okay. I, I, my background is comes with a lot of. Uh, hustle. Mm. So, and I, I made up my mind a long time ago. I don't want to be that person that goes from door to door to okay. beg okay. to have to provide for mm -hmm. my people. Okay. So, if if I have that thought in my mind, like every day I need to make money, I need to hustle, I need to be on my grind because mm. I don't want to be the one calling my friends tomorrow, oh boy, if you're assisting with small team, mm -hmm. you know, switch, I won't do, my family need this, mm. so I need to pay school fees. Mm. That, that makes me want to work hard okay. every day. Like any opportunity I get, I like to put my head in, whether it's a movie, okay. as long as money is going to come out of it. When I mm -hmm. think about all I have to do yeah. financially to, to be where I am, I, I have to just mm -hmm. keep you on my feet and be on the way. Mm -hmm. I, like coming here today, basically for me, I, you know, for me now, what I do is I ask myself the question, what is this going to, if I'm, are you going to give me money? <laughs> oh, there was something, there was an exchange. You, you know? <laughs> So it's not like there's a basket of gifts that like okay at all at all, <laughs> you know. But um, but you know because of the the work that we do, you you don't know what what rich this will get. Yeah, yeah. And we try not to underrate people because mm -hmm. uh, for in the industry, I think the most important investment is is friendship. Yeah. You know, so networks, relationships. Yeah, so when when I think about all that I have to do, and then when I think about all the people mm. behind me mm. and those ahead of mm. me. And then I look at those big names, how hard they work. Okay. Uh, there's no room for me. Do to, you have any mentors in the industry? I, I don't like. I don't like to. I don't like people mentoring me because okay. uh, Papa used to say your mentor might become your tormentor. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I okay. just. There's okay. a lot of people I admire. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ahead of me, even like people that are upcoming as well. That okay. Admire, you know, admire the drive, okay. admire the hunger, admire mm. tenacity. You mm. know, admire people with natural talent for yeah. this thing. I yeah. don't like people that lift. Try to be of work, try too hard. Mm -hmm. You know, you, first I need to see that it is in you. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that a mm -hmm. lot of people. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. So if if, if you were to collaborate with someone, maybe in the industry, or maybe an upcoming artist, what are the th key things you'll be looking at? What are the, what are the things you'll be if, looking if, at? For? If what you, if your materials, the, what you're bringing into the game, if mm -hmm. the original, mm -hmm. if the 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 something anybody can relate okay. to it. I don't okay. like when my materials are tied to a particular, a particular thing. thing. So when you're out there, mm. when you say you lost the audience, okay. I like it. I like basic mm. things, you know, mm. general things, things okay. that people can easily relate to. That's okay. why most times it's spontaneous for me because mm. if it happens right there, everybody there can, can just relate, relate to it. it. So and that's why even when, when I am um, um, some of the 
programs I've been to and I've seen you do comedy, you most times tell comedy from things that are actually yeah, happening yeah, right, right at the there. moment, you know. Yeah. That, that's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have Bucci right here on the show and Connect with Shady today. It's an amazing time. I'm having fun already in the studios right here. We'll be right back after this short break. Don't go nowhere. Girls don't say big cars, not the carry key order because guys like to do put a yeah, when you come up, pew, pew. So that they monitor car key for club. That's why men, when they don't order things, they leave the key on top table. <laughs> so guess when they go peace. Oh my God. That's the range 2017 limited edition, right? I love that car. You know, it's full options, right? It has an ATM by the driver's side, right? Even you go to shop, say, eh, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Girls too sharp. What do boys they do for Lagos now? They go, y'all buy a key. They not get moto. <laughs> y'all go laddy for. Say, I beg, I beg. Give me key two five. Eh. <laughs> oh, y'all put on top. Put on top table. They turn it in around. Girls say, oh, that's a nice car. Say, yes, it's one of my cars. <laughs> Really? That's a range, right? Yes, yeah, range 2016. Only two in the world. <laughs> the girl just tell her friends, hey guys, I'm hooked, okay? <laughs> so, baby, how are you? You don't be baby, you say, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> you see, the guy, not, you know, say you don't get money for drink, so you go, hurry. Uh, where I parked is far. <laughs> I think we should start leaving. <laughs> the cost <car> start trekking. <laughs> Uh, baby, where did you really park? Just be frank. Oh, uh, because of crowd, it's just here. Yeah. Uh, okay, baby. <laughs> but really, really, where did you park? <laughs> enough, uh, enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After three hours, <laughs> the girl don't put cocks you off hand. <laughs> she now nah, she don't open up. My brother, if you not get moto, just talk. Uh -huh. I'll be human, be like you. If you do your sister like this, you not go like Camo. Um, um, let's talk about upcoming comedians. Um, do you have anything in stock for them? Is there a, a system where you mentor young people? Because one thing I've come to realize in this world of entertainment and in general world, um, people these days just rise to that level yeah. and they chill. Yeah, true. true There's true. no way to actually give back to the upcoming comedian. True. So what are your plans for such things? Well, for me, you know, basically it's not, it's not just, it's one thing for you to give an upcoming comedian a show. Okay. Uh, it's another thing to give that person a platform. I had the opportunity to host like one of the major, first and major uh, yes. comedy clubs okay. in, in Lagos. And it runs every week. Okay. We do our comedy club every week. And wow. we have been doing it going on mm. seven or eight years now. Oh, and I've had, yeah, and I've, I've had opportunity, like, it was, like every week, I've had opportunity to see a lot of musicians and comedians grow. Okay. Like the likes of Olami Day. Yeah. He used to come mm -hmm. way back then. To the uh, show. Yeah, before... He even released his first single. Okay, but Basquemont in particular, do you have a very, it's like you have a very cordial, thick relationship <laughs> with him. <laughs> but you know we attend the same church, so. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We attend the same church, church for real. Okay. And, uh, the, but for Basquemont, I think what really started my friendship with Basquemont was mm. before I met um, Basquemont, I met other comedians, okay. um, and everyone probably gave me, you know. Mm promises like don't worry we'll use you when you get to lagos call me when you come to lagos hook up with me when you're in lagos you need to come to lagos <laughs> those kind of promises yeah so when i came to lagos and i started calling this people like oh you don't come lagos eh, okay. I will call you have you. to sit down uh, and yeah, think I about giving you that that slot all the way they shout come lagos what was happening <laughs> and all this why i never made basketball the okay. funny thing is twice outside lagos i've been introduced to basketball to mm. do a show and okay. he told uh, i think godons was the first one i mean i it, there was also he needed comedians as okay. a matter of fact because okay. the i think Ari canceled the flight okay. in Lagos and most of the comedians was supposed to come to Port mm -hmm. couldn't make it so there were no comedians okay. and Godot was like oh boy this now I, I believe this guy I drove from way back <laughs> I, believe I needed him. to use him okay. you know? right. I was like no I don't know I'm me no, no, I'm, I, I can never use anybody I've not no, seen you don't before know. Okay. and Godot was like but if you don't see him perform how no, would you go to I cannot use my stage to test him I have to see him perform <laughs> somewhere else First. on two occasions and right, every time I remind him he, was just like, he doesn't remember mm. people don't know because right now the industry is not like what it used to be then. We okay. didn't have this such. Now anybody can even anybody can just bring someone to me and say, "With you, my guy, you, mm. you have this comedian, someone I've never seen perform anything." Okay. And I'm like, "Okay, I'll give him a platform." Back mm. then, it wasn't that. It yeah. wasn't like that. So you have to walk your way up, yeah, up, you up the ladder. Yeah, you have to keep going from show. Mm. You basically, you perform. Just from work, show, free shows, show lots show. of free yeah. shows. 
it's not like a god uh, hey i get somebody will come mm. I, ne- I didn't have that mm. i was doing from show to show and then i was like okay another year is the same thing it was like no i don't know this guy i don't feel him and then he saw me perform night of a thousand laughs okay in lagos mm. and he came to me I, I didn't go to him and say, man, because then I was like, mm, I don't even know what this is going to feel like. <laughs> Look, of course, after the show, everybody, hey, about basketball. He didn't even perform in that show, but all the comedians was around. They rallied around. Okay. I was like, you guy don't shut me down twice. Mm. What's the point of me going again to say, man, let me perform. You don't finally see me. Because mm. I knew I did good at that show. Yeah. So I, I was just chilling, you know, I was cool. Relaxing. Mm. So he came to me and said, uh, Onyebuchi, right? I said, yes, yeah, good one. Mm. Try. Go walk. <laughs> that was the first time. That was it. it. And a week later, he put me up in his first event. Okay. Just called me and said, what did you do today? I was doing something. Of course, then I was just in Lagos. I mm. was always free. Mm. So come on, I'm doing something. And it was, of course, a birthday and they brought this international artist. I never even, as I then, I never met the likes of Two-Face. I, but I met international act. I think okay. it was Brian McKnight. Then it was okay. big. Okay. For a private birthday. And he mm. just called me and said, oh, yeah, perform. Just like that. And there that was, was no, it. And that, that was the turning point. And that was it. Mm. And from then, you know, we started, we started giving events. And most times we would have to travel. So mm. it was like, I can't come to your site to pick you, so okay. you have to come to mine. So just bring a few things. So okay. I'll, then we we'll just go from the weekend, go down to one week, wow. <laughs> two weeks. You know, actually, he was God sent in a yeah. way to you. you know? Basically, I think if that's why I say for me, it's mm. really grace. It's, wow. it's, it's always Beautiful. been Beautiful. the grace of God because at that time he could probably not have come for that event. Mm. A lot of things could have. I mean, I could still be jogging from one show to another, to another and, and he you was know. there i love the way you actually talk about what you do it's yeah. amazing seriously because yeah, these do. days you just find people wake up and the next thing they want to be stars they don't actually know that this can because you were talking um, seeing a lot of things and you're talking about free shows people don't know you have to work so much for so all these things really and hard. that's what we really out here to preach but before we go which is going to say one or two things to <laughs> the upcoming comedians and his fans out there you're going to talk to them and you know make them feel yeah <laughs> but basically um mm. you know when we do interviews like that so boy um uh, especially when we say, please we want you to perform do one joke before you go so that people really yeah people thank really you feel. thank you for reminding me do the joke <laughs> yeah it's funny the joke is it's very mm. funny because we are the only people that you get to that because the truth is if i brought a boxer here <laughs> After the interview, you know, tell the guys, oh boy, box. No. If he punch me first, no. I know what I did. But if I bring police, my I know, say, officer, is that yeah, gone? Yes, if he like shoot me, yeah. Let's see if he's real bullet. Nigerian police gives you people. But if not, I want to go work more for him. Yes, okay. yes, we need to. No, it, it doesn't work that way. How many bankers you don't see where come here and say, you think that's yeah. <laughs> money? Or count <can't> money? <laughs> That's actually that's really so true right yeah, now on so the show. So true. That's that's the body we have to bear. Wow, amazing, amazing. But, so but, much fun. Yeah, thank you. But but going out to all the comedians, all people, just me basically when I, my, it's not about just all the comedians. Mm. It's about just Nigerians, okay. uh, young people, the mm. youth, you mm. know, because um, we have come this generation that we are in, and people depend on others too much. Mm-hmm. I have this uncle, I have mm. about anything for me, anything for the boy. Mm. People depend too much on all that people. More like corporate begging. Yeah, and, and, and then when they see that you're successful, nobody wants to know your story, whether mm. you have or not. Mm-hmm. And most times, show business is what you show. So mm. even if it's very hard for you, you have to keep up appearances. Yeah. So I like to tell people, like, you, the only person that you can really depend on is mm. yourself. Because mm. you know, whether you, you think you have this big uncle in government, government will change tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I'm not praying <laughs> for it's, 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 we, are seeing, we are seeing the evidence these yeah, days. Yeah, like what's happening. <laughs> people actually were anticipating that things would be better. But hey, that's how we find ourselves, man. Yeah, so okay. I just say, you know, you, you just have to believe in yourself. Okay. Because you are the only person that can mm-hmm. pick your call. Yes. You are, you, I mean, you are the only one that cannot disappoint yourself. <laughs> Every other person, you don't know what to go through at that time. <laughs> you are the only one that can pick your call. Yeah, like no matter how rich your are, or auntie, or brother, or okay. sister, mm-hmm. for the fact that that person is human, mm-hmm. they, they get their own challenges. To so, no worry. Mm-hmm. So, I just think people just need to believe in themselves okay. more and try to depend less on other people. Okay. You know, because you can, you, the truth is, you can do it. Mm-hmm. You can do it. Most of us, we, we did a lot from nothing. Mm. And I know there are a lot of people that are even better than us when it comes to talent. Okay. Probably doesn't have to be singing, probably might be dancing or rapping Anything. or comedy mm. or probably you know how to run him at an athlete. There's just so much you in us, you know. And for every Nigerian they said there's no one talent. Mm. The least you can get is ten. <laughs> as, as, the as the economy three. alone is yeah, enough but, to bring out talent from you. <laughs> but in Nigeria it's ten. If you sing you can dance. If you dance you can run, you can probably rap. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can write, you can act. It's, it's, wow, amazing. You know, so just believe mm. in yourself okay. and, you know, try try as much as you can mm. because it's not always going to be rosy. Yeah. yeah. You, be nobody is, becomes a superstar overnight. Overnight. It doesn't know. happen. Yeah, you do mm. one hit and... That's you know, have ten thousand followers and like yes, I'm done. Mm. No, it's mm. it's it gets more difficult. Difficult. Yeah. So mm. you have to keep pushing. Basically. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Bucci, I'm so Thank glad you, you were on the show today. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to more episodes of your favorite TV show connect with shady you can actually follow us via our social media platforms on youtube on facebook on twitter on instagram you can actually follow us via all those social media and we'll communicate with you yeah follow me too on my <laughs> social media it's gonna yeah. be on the screen uh -huh. uh, that's uh Buchi Comedian mm -hmm. and IG. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do IG most times. Mm -hmm. I'm not really big. Um, okay. and any other thing. <laughs> Bucci. So if you say I you're not big, I have on me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't go there. Okay, there's one, there's one I saw on the yeah. internet. www.buchi.tv yeah, that's, that's big, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. So <laughs> basically, if you hook uh, me up, I will hook you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you so much for being on the show today. I see you next time, Buchi. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>